Hi friends, welcome to this part 51. We are looking at real questions. Please click the join button below this video or go to the link in the description. Become a cloud kernel member and gain access to more questions. If you have not yet subscribed, believe me, so many people have cleared certification using content on this channel. So let us look at this question now. Which benefits does a company gain when the company moves from on premises to AWS cloud? So if you are not very much familiar with cloud so this is a good question for you what do we gain if we go to cloud see option b looks so wrong it is telling you that you know what if a company for example tcs tata consulting services if they had so many employees like 400000 employees they would let them go because now AWS cloud will manage everything. No, you still need people. So B is wrong. And C says, you know what? The security configurations will be automatically done. In cloud, you have to own setting up of security. There are some things which AWS does for you, but a bulk of thing you have to do it. This is wrong. D says elimination, like you no longer need disaster recovery planning because AWS by default, it will take care of everything. This is purely wrong. If you want a disaster recovery solution, for example, you can choose for a low disaster recovery solution, medium or a high. In high, if one region goes down, another region will be up. So the downtime is literally not there more than like five minutes of downtime max okay so you you will have to work on it first now a says that you do not require to plan hardware do troubleshooting how much hardware do you need then go to the vendor team and say hey you know i want these many hardwares you don't have to do it cloud already has those hardwares you just say what you want to use and use it on a paper view. It's like a car rental. Hertz already has so many cars. You go to their uh, shop or office and just tell you want this car for rent for two days and use it. You don't have to pay for the whole car price. If the car is costing $30,000, you don't pay for that. You only pay for the usage that is maybe $30 or $40 per day. And because of this, you can deploy new features and applications faster. So new features like, you know, Hertz has a high profile car category also, which is costing say $80 per day. You can switch, you can switch from $30 per day uh, economy car to a, say a luxury car, which is costing $80 per day, you can do that. Same here, since, you just have to use it. See, if you want to spawn EC2 instance, just like a computer, you have a laptop, you can do it in cloud in just 15 minutes. You will have one EC2 instance, which is your like a virtual machine. And then you then you put your features. It's so easy. So this would be my final answer. See, in this next question, what is the use case? You have MySQL database. You have a database, okay? In your on premises now in cloud you have to move so in cloud can you move to aws dynamo db no dynamo db is no sql so they want to move to a relational database which is rds database okay here you can have mysql and maria database oracle database and so on see whenever we talk about migrating right AWS has given you database migration service because here you are migrating database. So you should use database migration service. This is my answer. Direct connect is when you want to use uh, or you want a dedicated line between your office premises and AWS data centers and regions. It will not help you with migration. It is a network solution. 
so when you answer you should think about what is this option good for so this option is good for network solution then we have server migration service on premises workloads you can move to aws that means applications not database that means front end portion of the application here we have schema conversion tool now this is a part of your data migration service what it does is it will automate schema analysis it will go and say which components can be migrated not can be migrated how much percentage can be just left and shift it can support oracle azure sql netiza teradata green plum vertica so uh, the parent is dms you have to use dms so that is a bottom line thumb rule whenever you want to migrate a database to other database product dms dms see the customer call centers they want to store data for 6 years for a bank and it has to be accessible in 48 hours so suppose after 3 years you decide hey for 3 years back we had this call let us pull that record that should happen in 48 hours so which aws service will provide secure and cost effective solution so see dynamo db is wrong in this case because it is used for no sql databases it is like your database on viagra high performance low latency applications like uber use it you can also use it for games connect aws amazon connect you want to set up a customer service contact center you use connect here we are not talking about customer service elastic cache is a caching system this is wrong because elastic cache will help you with real time performance high performance because it will cache the data so your report should run faster it sits on top of database why because it has to reduce the database load so we are left with glaze here whenever you think about long term storage archiving etc like in this question 6 years you have to go to glaze here it is very cheap otherwise you will become a beggar if you are not using cheap storage so lowest cost okay plus you can retrieve the data in 48 hours that is 40 you need right so we have met 48 hours requirement cost effective solution requirements if you have not yet subscribed this is your opportunity so many people have gained out of it this channel is dedicated to cloud certifications aws azure gcp snowflake tableau do not forget to click the join button below this video the link is in the description become a cloud kernel member gain access to so many more questions see you in the next part